All right, guys, so I bought this stove top glass percolator. And if I'm saying that correctly, um, it's for electric and gas. I have gas. Um, they did send this um, metal um, heat diffusing. I don't need it. It's for electric, so I'm just going to leave that there so I don't lose it sh should I ever move. Um, I picked this up at Walmart. I went to walmart.com. I ordered, I believe it was um, $10 and something cents. So, and then I had it shipped to store and they um, texted me when it was available to pick up, which was, I think, a day or two after I ordered it. So I got the water going on the stove top boiling. I'm gonna get this going. Um, I don't drink a lot of coffee, so I picked up this, let me show you. Um, Starbucks caramel flavor coffee. It just smelled good, so we'll see. I just wanted to try, you know, coffee since. <laughs> um, I think it said one scoop for every cup of water. Or a cup of coffee so I think that I did a four cups so I'm gonna do four scoop something got caught and I think there's three and one more and it this thing did say you're supposed to use a uh, coarse ground coffee um when I purchased this at Walmart like I said I'm not a coffee person so I just said naturally flavored ground coffee. It doesn't say if it's fine, medium. So I am not sure if this is the right one I'm supposed to be using with this. So I'm going to try and make sure this is even. Um, and this is my first time using this. So before I add my hot water or add my water in, I made sure I washed it out with a sponge. It did say don't use anything that is abrasive on it. Um, so I just went ahead and used a, a, a sponge to clean it out, um, washed everything down before I, um, got it in there. So I don't think I'll drink my coffee black. So I bought this, um, caramel Dunkin' Donut, um, coffee creamer. And then to sweeten it a little bit, I'm going to use this, um, let me see if I can get it in there. Tarani, is that how you say? Classic caramel flavor syrup. So I'm going to try that and see, since I don't really want to use sugar, and see how that goes. Okay, I'm going to turn my camera around here and show you. Okay, so i got my water boiling here. Let me see if I can get this in there without burning myself. Okay, so i got that in there. And I'm assuming this just go anywhere. Okay. Okay, I got it. Let me get you a little closer so you can see what I did. The water is boiling. And pretty soon I'm assuming we'll see the coffee. I do have it on the medium, that's what it that goes over your stove. So I do hate that at this house. This must, uh, I think I've been here two years now, maybe. So it's really hard. It always splatter on my wall and, and I hate it. Oh, okay. So there goes the coffee. I don't know if you can see it. So I'm excited and um, I'm going to let that go through. And then I'll come back and show you um, the end result. Okay. So I'll see you in a couple of minutes. And then I'll also try to let you know how long it took. Okay, so the coffee, to me, this is the color. Um, it did say you can leave it on longer if you want it darker, and it will taste stronger. Like I said, I'm not a coffee person, so I'm not going to leave it much longer. I'm going to go ahead and pull it off. It was on there a grand total of like two minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and turn my camera around and bring this over. Um, and then show you what I'm going to do here with the rest. And I did notice um, with this not being a coarsely brown, I did notice some, some of the, the coffee grounds 
fit get in there. So next time I'm just gonna um, make sure I find the coffee that says coarse grounds on it. So I'm assuming now I realize the reason for that was to make sure it doesn't um, get into your coffee. Let me go ahead and close this up. Okay, now it did say be careful. Oh yeah, you know what? Definitely. I'm not going to be happy with this. I just noticed they are a couple pieces of coffee. Maybe I was supposed to take that out. Let me see if it makes a difference or Well, I'm learning here, so now I know. No fine coffee um, bean or ground, of course. So I'm gonna add in my... Uh, I know. Maybe I need a little more, I don't know. And I'm gonna add in some of the syrup. Um, it says two tablespoons. So, let me get a paper towel to clean this off here. Because I use this tablespoon for the, I really don't want any more um, coffee thing in. So, I think that's for more like caramel latte or something. But we'll see. If I need to add sugar, I will. Oh, I'm not really happy with the end result here because of the coffee. Some, not a whole bunch, just a couple. Maybe I was supposed to take that out before I pour it. I don't know. I'll try it again next time. Anyway, let me pull this back and I'll try it out. I'll show you this, the end result. So, oh, let me taste it. It's really hot. Oh, it smells amazing though. Oh my gosh, it does taste so yummy. It does. So I'm going to keep doing this. Like I said, I'm not a coffee person. But for a person that really don't like coffee to say this is really good, it's good. So I'm excited. Um, like I said, I did get a little bit of the grounds in here. Um, not a big fan of that. But I think it's because I bought the wrong coffee grounds. It did um, recommend coarse ground and assuming this is must be fine it doesn't really say um what it is it's, but i'm assuming it's, it's fine but to the end it took me two minutes to actually boil it i know it seemed like it took much longer on camera but it's because i was trying to do all this but it really only took two minutes on the stove to get this um brought up to temperature pour my coffee in there with my Dunkin Donut um, coffee creamer and then my caramel syrup too as well and the coffee was the caramel flavor is actually real good I really need some whipped cream on this oh that would have been amazing coffee but anyway thanks um, like subscribe leave comments below um, if there anything else